Okay, now we can start. I started the uh, stri- uh, podcast or video. Yeah, so you okay. uh, you were asking what how I find your channel. I found your channel yeah. from I think I got recommended it from Life Is Overrated, and I think it was it was either from Life Is Overrated or it was either someone else that I would watch, and you just popped up. I think. I don't remember like which video of yours popped up. Uh, maybe it was I. I actually can't remember. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I have a lot of videos to be honest with you, man. That's yeah. alright. I I uploaded probably like a thousand. Yeah. <laughs> I uploaded too many. Mhm. Uh, yeah. So I just had like some topics uh, to talk to you about. Uh, I have a little yeah, so- sure, but, um, social anxiety, yeah, I, so I'm sorry if um, I sound <clears throat> a little weird or anything. Yeah, nah, so, you're fine, man. Uh, I don't find you weird at all. Uh, okay, thank you. Um, no, I was going to say, uh, so I was going to ask, what? how did you discover, like, antinatalism? And how did you, like, come across, like, the concept of it? So, how I, like, discovered it, it was, like, I saw a YouTube video, like, the Hodge Twins. I don't know if you ever heard of them. Uh, and I think they're funny, those guys, but they, they were basically roasting this guy, saying that he's going to sue his parents and all that. And I was actually going with it. I was like, that's ridiculous, you know? Mm-hmm. Why would he sue his parents? Like, that's That's crazy. And then... Then he talked about antinatalism. I, I didn't even know what that was. It made me kind of curious at the time. So I went on Reddit and I went on those forums and I was seeing stuff that made a lot of sense to me. Like, you're born without your consent and then um, you just experience a bunch of pain and suffering. Like, it's... Like, and then I looked at back at my life, and I was experiencing a lot of bullying. I was experiencing a lot of shit from my mom emotionally abusing me. And, yeah, I had a good, I had an actually good upbringing. Like, I never grew up poor or anything like that. But it made me think deeper about it. It wasn't even about myself. It's like everyone in this world that just never has to be born, and they're suffering. Like, there's people in third world countries. Yep. Uh, like in pain and poverty and like experiencing bad, everything mm-hmm. yeah so so then uh, I got really into it and I kind of wanted to make a YouTube channel and I, my first videos were, were about like work because I've been having trouble keeping a job and uh, I hated like the work environments that I was in and then I started uh, posting anti-nihilism content. And then over time, I kept posting videos. And then more people kept watching me. And that's that's how like I became a content creator, basically, for that. And I never would have thought my YouTube would have got that big. Crazy. Yeah. Uh, so what um, was... What what made you uh, what what are like your your copes in this life? You know what 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 I think I already know. I you've already maybe said before, but I think one of them is going to the gym. I think you've said that much. Completely sure. Yeah, like um, yeah, I like going to the gym, lifting weights. I like running. I like playing basketball, but I don't play as much anymore. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like making YouTube videos. Uh, I like listening to music. I like going for walks. Um, basically, a whole bunch of stuff. Then I have, like the bad habit stuff. And yeah, I've got to try to quit again, but I recently quit my job today because I was dealing with narcissistic co-worker and stressing me out so no, I fucking I'm, bought a pack I'm sorry about that it's fucking nah it's all good man I already 
have like an interview Tuesday. Oh, okay. Already applied somewhere and dance. It's, it's, it's all right. You just hop from job to job, you know? But yeah. yeah, I mean, I had like some unhealthy copes, like drinking and all that stuff, you know? Like, mm-hmm. so, like, you, certain copes do better than others. But at the same time, like, these copes don't last forever and yeah. you're still dealing with this life and you just gotta cope again. Yeah, that's how I feel a lot too like a lot of the time because say you um go to the gym right and this is what i experienced the most like you go to the gym and then you kind of feel good at the gym and then you gotta you then you know you're at the gym for an hour or two then you're like oh i gotta go back to my life yep like you get that little rush of dopamine and it feels good and then you're back to this reality of like going to work and coming home and doing this monotony over and over and over and over over until you you die and that's the same thing what everyone else is doing you know people are doing this monotonous stuff and they're just coping you know and it's crazy Mm mhm yeah but I I like I like to do like some um, these type of you know, videos or, or podcasts with other people because it, it, it like, obviously it distracts me from my life, but I also, I don't, I don't like, I don't like, my goal isn't just to complain, it's to, it's to speak maybe the truth, like the truth about like the way things are, you know, and, and to, uh, it's for people to like maybe learn something from these videos, you know. Yeah, exactly. Like, the stuff that we're talking about isn't so, like, dooming. Like, it's just, it's real. Like, people yeah. are starving out there. There's homelessness. There's inflation going on. The economy's bad. People are dealing with bullying and mental health problems. It, I can name a thousand of them. It'll, it'll take too long in this podcast. But, yeah, it's people need to learn that this world is in such a great place. It's a lot of fucked up shit here. I don't know. I think people. I think people know. I think people know this like deep down because there's a lot of people where like I'll, I'll talk to them about this, and they know it deep down, and they'll still like reproduce because they need to. They need some. Te- they need a be- some sort of some sort of cope because the copes they don't have they they have in their life aren't good enough. So they're like, oh, let me have a kid. So my kid gives me purpose, even though they see how life is for them, and they're like, yeah, let me have a kid anyway. And then yeah. Like, they they see, like, this life is boring and it's monotonous and they have nothing else to do and pop a kid. They want to be a parent. They want to name it. They want to see it walk. But they don't, they never, like, question of their genetics. They never question their environment. They never question exactly. anything that can go wrong with the child. And the child isn't guaranteed a good life. Yeah, there's some positive things in this world. Like, I'm not saying it's all this world negative. is fucked up fucked up but like let's get, let's keep it real here this this world is mostly bad and good yeah but and there's I more n- bad why people would bring a kid in the world yeah that's why me personally um i not that i necessarily like fantasize about this but i think about hmm it would be kind of cool to have a kid but then if 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 i ever really wanted to what I would probably what I would, what I would honestly do is adopt because there's the you know I'd rather take care of someone who's already alive than bring someone like else here you know because and I think when it comes to like adopting not just anyone can adopt they do like a background check and whatnot and if you can't take care if you're not able to like provide for the kid anymore you're not fully obligated because they didn't come from you you know Right, yeah, and the kids in adoption homes need a home more than a biological kid. Yeah. Like, they were basically abandoned by their selfish parents. And, like, we have too many kids in adoption homes dealing with abuse and doing all that kind of crap. And, like, they'll come out of these adoption homes with no guidance. 
it's I feel like it's best that more people should adopt. It shows that you have character. It shows that you have empathy for kids that don't have like a home, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I I also like per I also I also think that I'm also young, so these are just like these are kind of like maybe fantasies younger people have until they have a kid, and then they they start what it's, they start to see what it's like to actually have a kid, and then they're like, oh man, I don't want to do this anymore, and then they're kind of just stuck with them because you know they they gave birth to them or they're biological, you know. Yeah, exactly. Like, a lot of parents out there regret having kids, and they regret taking care of them because it takes a lot of responsibility. It takes a lot of sacrifice, and it can drain them, you know? But that's what you asked for, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you brought a kid in this world, and that's what you get. So You bought that on yourself. You, you did it yourself. all on them. Sorry, I was just drinking some water. Oh, no, you're good. Yeah, but I, I, I really wish anti natalism was like discussed more, um, like in the world because there's just so much like this. I don't, I don't know like whose fault is it, but there's just so much positivity towards like women or like couples who who are having a kid. Like, oh my god, congratulations! Like, I'm so happy for you. My biggest blessing. This and that. I'm like, dude, like. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, it's nothing to congratulate about. I agree, man. Like, yeah, yeah. These, these people that bring a kid in the world could be abusive parents. They could be having kids and don't have enough money to take care of them. What's, why congratulate them for that? Yeah. I, I, I actually see it often, too. Um, I'm trying to remember the last time I, I, I saw it. I think it was... Uh, where, where did I see this? No, I I don't want to like talk about too much about like my uh, personal like family matters, but uh, I had a an uncle and uh, he wasn't like my biological uncle. It's more like a he's you I call him my uncle or whatnot, and uh, he he had like a wife and um, not a wife, a girlfriend, my fault. Um, and he would struggle so badly to like take care of her. And sometimes he would not eat to feed her, like not even kidding. Uh, he, like he would buy a meal, and then he would give that meal to her instead of him eating it. And then <clears throat> they decided to have a whole ass like kid, and I'm like, huh? Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Like you can't afford like what you're doing right now. Why are you having a kid? That's, having a kid. You're spending a hundred thousand dollars, like a year. Yeah, that's what I heard. I think. To take care of your kid, and you're just struggling paycheck to paycheck. I'm assuming your uncle Dylan. Like, why would you make that decision? Did they do that by accident? Did they just want to do it because they want to be like everyone else, or like they just think, oh, my biology tells me to do it? You know, it's, it's all selfish. You know what I mean? And now the kid's exposed to this life without consent and now they got the kids got to deal with poverty and and then the parents could tell them oh just be grateful just be grateful what like, you got you have a roof over your head right yeah exactly i actually that shit isn't cool and people tell you you're classist because oh like you just don't want any person that doesn't have money to have not have kids and yeah i i don't want poor people having kids i don't want people having kids in general and Especially the poor people. It's so selfish. Yeah, I actually question. I actually like talked to him about it. Yeah, he, he he. I said, "Hey, why did you have a kid?" I I didn't exactly say that. It was something similar to that, and he said, "Oh, because I had to." And I'm like, "Huh?" But when I asked that, I I was yeah, like, what, "What's that mean?" Yeah, like uh, <laughs> I was like, in my head, I'm like, "Because I had to." Like, what? what, what, what? I'm just... Yeah, you had to because society tells you. Yeah. Like, that's stupid. 
going by what everyone else does, it sounds like. Don't even question, like, if bringing a kid in this world is good or not, you know? They don't no. They don't really think introspectively about that. And no, me personally, I see how, how, like, life is for me, and not just life, but society. You know, there's a lot of uh, bullying and uh, discrimination and racist, racism. And I'm like, I, I don't want this for anyone. And I, I don't, you know, that, and that's, and that's because, you know, to my non-existent children, it's because I love them, you know, because I, and I mean, I mean, that sounds corny or whatnot, but, you know, as I like to say, I love you to death. That's why I'm bringing you to life. Because I'm saving them yeah, from, from all crazy. this, you know? Yeah, like, there's all this bad shit in this world, and people keep reproducing. And the thing is, like, these people that keep bringing kids in this world, they teach their kids these bad things, and then they develop it. And then they do all these bad things all over again. Like, once you create a kid, you create more problems. More racism, more homophobia, more uh, bullying. Like, whatever it is, right? Mm-hmm. So... I'll, I'll even tell you, like, I'm not even, I'm not even greatest human either. I've said some bad things to the people, and that's why I say all humans aren't good, you know, because it's, humans are just messed up. We all like to compete, and we all like to be better, and put yeah. others down. It's pathetic, man. Yeah, I see you all the time, actually. I think, uh... People will be competing over, uh, like, each other's kids. And, like, it, they'll be like, oh, my child uh, is gonna is going into, example, uh, is going into, like, nursing school. What's your child doing? And they, it, I see this cycle, like, half, happen, like, often. It's not just, like, competing against, like, their children. It's competing against, like, like who they're dating, too. They'll be like, oh, like my wife has a has a nice body than your wife or my husband has more money than your husband or or your or your uh you get what i mean yeah it's about comparing it's about people are comparing their status it's it's so shallow man that's yeah. all people want to do is compare their kids to their kids you know and it shouldn't be like that but that's how humans are and that's why it's not good to bring a kid in the world yeah. Yeah. So, um, I was actually gonna ask too. Like, how did you come across um, Life Is Already's channel? Oh, um, well, I made my channel before he did, actually. Oh, really? And he started watching my videos. Yeah, and he started commenting on my older videos and was asking me how to get views and all that. And um, I told him how to do it, and basically that's how his channel blew up. And oh yeah, is, you like, did. I started watching him too, and he's he's very good. Like I've been watching him since he started uploading. Like speaks mad facts. Like yeah, like I resonate with a lot of things he says. You know, I can't relate to his experiences obviously, but the thing that like, he talks about with mental health and like work and all that stuff, like. I can resonate with that, you know? Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, I think you actually told me this, like, a, like a, a, maybe, like, a mo- about, like, months ago on your on your stream, because I asked you this. So my bad if I if I forgot about it. I, now I feel kind of bad. No, nah, you're fine. I mean, I have a lot of people talk to me on there. I don't even remember, really. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> it's fine, man. Uh. Uh, do you have any other like topic we can like discuss? Cause I was gonna. Uh... Um, I guess, I guess we can talk about work. I mean, that's that's a big part of why this this world's messed up. You know, I I just quit my job and I have to deal with a gaslighting coworker now. I have to I have an interview this Tuesday. You know, yeah. Like just dealing with toxic environments and dealing with these bullies at work. You know. Oh yeah, definitely. I, I, I've actually, 
uh, find it annoying. I'm not sure if you ever like had this, uh, but it's probably what what I get anyway. Or it's not it's not what I get, but it, I don't know. It is it's just with social media, man. Like you try to keep kind of like your life private, but these coworkers like they always end up finding your social media accounts and like they'll start um like not necessarily like stalking it, but like they'll always be like watching your your, your shit on social media, um, like your story or something. I'm like. Uh, your social media, your uh, coworkers. What happened? I'm saying they they found out your social media. I'm assuming. Yeah, but it's not just like, it's not just like, uh, like it's not that it's not that I I post anything bad or nothing, but I'm just like I'm always amazed. Like every job that I go to, dude. Like, I'm not like the way technology is, dude. You you walk past someone, and I don't know your phone does something that um it like next time you you pull up instagram or facebook it'll show them i don't know how that works but i'm being like oh, so for real yeah, actually, it does that. i actually had that too man yeah it's like it's like saved if you allow your contacts to be on your social media it's gonna show them it's it's i agree man that is weird why why that's like lack of privacy you know yeah you should get rid of that no, but it's not even like the if I have them in my contacts, I'll just uh they'll just eventually be, show up on like say hey, do you know this person? Is this person is suggested for you? You know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying though. Like if like since you have them on your contact, if somehow on like your social, like I noticed that when I have when I put like people that I work with on there. I see them on, like, uh, I have a Facebook because I was, like, trying to, like, find rooms to rent at the time. And okay. then I saw people that I used to work with. I was like, what? why the fuck are they suggested to me? <laughs> so weird, man. Yeah. Yeah, I get what you're saying. That, that is weird, man. But I guess, like, the... Like, that's, like, a lack of privacy. Yeah. Crazy. I mean, I guess the day and age we live in now, there's really no privacy, you know? You can't really do anything there's probably i'm not sure i think it's I'm not sure if if it's actually like completely possible myself but i think uh you well yeah your phones are always like listening to you if you don't know this because like all these like companies and whatnot they they get paid to like suggest ads for you so um it's not that it's always listening my the, well that I'm, I'm aware about at least i know like you can go on like amazon or google and search up like something you want to buy i don't know like a pair of shoes or some something you want to buy and then you go on facebook and you'll get ads for that product it, like follows you everywhere it seems like yeah <laughs> or even like you like stuff you watch on youtube or something like you get Suggested like, those videos. The same type of stuff on YouTube. Yeah. You know? Very odd. I mean, I'm glad. I guess I'm glad for I that on like YouTube. There's probably any privacy on the internet there. No. I guess for YouTube, I'm glad because I, I find channels like yours. Um, I'm not sure if you're, uh, if you watch, if you know who this is, but I also watch this other channel. It's called uh, Bendy Time the Truth. I think that's what it's called. Uh, Benedict the Truth. Yeah, I know who that is. Yeah, he actually made a... Uh, hey, he changed his name. His name was uh, Benedict the Vegan something. Oh, yeah. I, I wasn't... I, I didn't know him before he changed his name. I actually was... Uh, I'm, I actually am amazed... Every time I... Not every time I watch his videos, but like, sometimes I watch his videos. Like, I'm amazed at like, how he's able to just talk about so many deep concepts. And I'm, I'm watching. And I'm like, dude, like, how, how is he able... Not how is he able to do this, but it's just... No, I don't know anyone that's as deep as he is. You know? Yeah, he's very, I'll say he's very passionate about it. I'll, I'll admit, like, I, I I personally don't watch his videos that much because it's hard to watch sometimes. But, no, but there's, there's a... Because it's very long. Yeah, you know I mean? there's always but an hour. I think, I like, I like what he talks about, though. I like, I think he's very passionate. He's, he really talk deep down about how fucked up the world is and that's what we need we need people like that we need people to be passionate about like what the how fucked up the world is and that's how more people are going to seek into that video and 
they're going to have an open mind and realize that he's telling the truth, like his champ name. Yep. Yeah, he, he puts out good content, though. So. Yeah, but the only issue I have with him is every time he uploads a video, it's always like an hour long or two hours long. And I mean, that's not, I think that there's nothing wrong with that, but it's just like, you know, people got to make time to like watch those videos, but, you know. Yeah, maybe it's my attention span. I don't know. <laughs> no, it, it's nothing to do with I your think, attention span. It's just like you watch one video, it's like an hour, and then you're like, ah, another one, one that's an hour, you know? Like, but that's just me, right? I guess as well. Yeah, but he's. I'll, I'll say he's a good YouTuber too, right though. He's he's very good at what he talks about. Yeah, so. he actually made a song about like anti-natalism. It's I I actually liked it like so much, dude. But I I kind of wish he like posted yeah, it like, got- separately. Yeah. What happened? I need to uh, check it out. I never, never heard of it. No, the like the only thing that I know, yeah, that's the thing, cause he actually didn't like post it separately. He posted it at the end of one of his videos that he was a uh, singing. Oh, I see. Yeah, I can play it for you right now if you want to hear it. Uh, I don't think it'll get copyrighted though. No, shouldn't it? Um, I mean. I guess if, if he has an issue, I guess, but oh, okay. I, don't I don't know how that works. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know either. Let, let me uh pull up his channel real quick here. Shouldn't take too long. Because I was uh just watching his video his uh channel earlier because uh he had this like old video where he was talking about uh like the the uh the devil didn't want people to eat like the I mean, God didn't want people to eat the forbidden fruit, but the devil wanted them to. Like, like actual like crazy oh, stuff. Like talking about that. Yeah, like like actual like deep stuff about the like the Bible and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, yeah, like how I view that too is like if God, like is all knowing and allowed Mary to eat the apple, like, I think God is evil because He do. Or he, she, or whatever it is, do what was gonna happen. Like God is all powerful and all that. He, God could have stopped for all that if this was real, you know? Yeah. Like, I don't. That's why I'll never understand like how people can believe in God when God, like they say, God created all this stuff and it's all a lot of bad things. I'll never understand that, but I guess I understand it in some way. Like, like if you are religious and you believe in God and you don't want to bring kids in this world, you know that this world is suffering. God says there's suffering in the world, and I guess I understand it in that way. Mm. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, also... Uh, me personally, um, people always say, like, like people in the sh- street or just people, like, uh, anywhere, they'll say things, like, they have said to me things like, God loves you, um, <clears throat> and then, I'm, and then it feels really good to hear that, but I, th- I look at my life and I look at, like, what I was, the hand I was dealt, and, you know, and I say to myself, not just the hand I was dealt, but just, just having to, like, the just the burden of existing in general you know um i I say to myself yeah if he loves me so much like why did he bring me into existence yeah exactly like if if god loves you so much why why are you struggling with certain things in life right Mm -hmm. like why would god allow that that doesn't make sense you know yeah but that's why like i don't think god is real i don't think any of this stuff is real because I, th- I feel like people uh, made up God. People to made cope. up Jesus just to manipulate people for money. That's what I think it is. And if people were questioning things, people were disobeying what they what uh, the leaders were saying, they would just tell you're going to hell. You know, and that's that's why that's why I don't believe it. I feel like people that seen God and Jesus they were basically hallucinating off psychedelics and they were like hallucinating that because they were being told by the leaders from Rome or whatever it is mm-hmm. that this guy is real 
and that's what they hallucinated. And that's why this keeps going on and on and on. And I still don't understand how people can believe in something that has no physical evidence when there's technology disproving it, you know? Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, I guess, I guess people can believe what they want as long it doesn't hurt people or cause pain. But at the same time, like the Bible does talk about pain. It talks about all this bad stuff. So, I mean, if you interpret your own way, I guess that's fine, I guess. So, yeah. so I used to have been like an anti-theist too. I used to have been like, like a person that didn't like God. I didn't like people that were religious. Like, how can you believe in something like that? You know. I mean, I still feel like that. I I, I feel like that honestly a lot. Like, um, I go on like social media, and I see all these stuff about like God verse, uh, all these like Bible verses and all this nonsense, and I'm just like, <sighs> these people, man, like. Like the way, like it's so indoctrinated into people. Um, but just so you know, the it's this has been going on for like thirty-one minutes. So, uh, I'm not sure if you have more time or or you want to wrap this up. I want to. Oh like, uh, yeah, this. oh, I have more time. I actually enjoyed the time this conversation. So uh, okay. yeah, I'll, I'm cool with it. So I'm, uh, okay. I'm it's not dying or anything. So yeah. I'm okay with another fifteen to twenty some minutes. All right, I'm. I'm gonna uh show you. I'm gonna play this song for real quick. I I wanna like, I don't wanna play the whole thing because it's kind of long. But let me. Uh, if uh you want me to stop playing, you just let me know. Let me know if you can hear. Yeah, it. just play it for like a minute or something. That'll be right. cool. All right. This is the song from uh Bendy Time that I was trying to show you. Do you hear it fine? It's kind of hard to hear, right? Uh, are you playing it right now? Uh, yeah, let me see if I can, uh, you hear it? Nah, I don't hear it, really. Okay, uh, yeah, I don't have a speaker or nothing, because, um, I'm using my other phone to record it, and that's the one that's louder, so I'm sorry. Like, uh... Yeah, I'm sorry. My bad, dude. I I can't. Uh, I, I I can show show it after the, after this, to be honest. But I I thought. Hey, I, you, you can um, just send me um, just send me a link. I'll I'll check it out. All right. Yeah. Anyway, back to what we were saying. Yeah. Um. I see all these like st- st- these people posting like all this like, uh, God first this and that and. I don't know. I, I also feel bad because, like, there are also people that, like, aren't... They always say God first and this and that. But, like, they're not doing any better than the average person. Even though they're, they're saying God first or they say put God first. But, like, what what, what has that what yeah, has that changed in your life? I don't get what they mean by that. Put God first. Like, like put God, yourself first. like, created this, these people in this world and supposedly likes all this sadistic like chaos you know yeah. so why put god first when god allows this to happen how can god like sit there with a bag of popcorn and just enjoy this you know <laughs> that's actually what i say every day I'll never right? understand. Oh. yeah um are you are you by like what's your like what are your like religious beliefs like are you an atheist or what are you <laughs> yeah i'm a i'm an atheist so. Oh, okay. So you like you don't really have a side. You just it's whatever, pretty much. Well, I mean, I do. I don't like me personally. Like, I don't think there is a god. I don't think it's real. I think it's like a cope for people. I think yeah, people what it seems. pray and stuff to feel better. Like cope with this life, yeah, and to feel better and and. Thing is, like, I do not know that there is a God, but there has to be evidence for a God, and there, since there's no evidence for a God, I'm not gonna believe it. So that's that's why I'm an atheist. Mhm. Yeah, me personally, I have like, I have. What's the word? Uh, I'm trying to remember. I want to say that. 
I'm an atheist, but it's like I believe in Christianity, but I don't. You know? Like, what part of um, Christianity do you believe in? Um, sorry, give me a minute, my, uh, parents are talking in the background. Oh, no, you're good. Uh, no, I was, I was, I was saying, um, I was going to say that, uh, I, I, a part of me wants to believe in it, but, um, because, because that part, and that part of me that wants to believe in it is like the part of me that like, it feels good to, it, to believe in it, you know, but another part of me sees how like, my life is and whatnot and I'm like well things could be better but they aren't what makes you uh, want to believe more of the Christianity and stuff it's because I've had like moments in my life where I've been to church and I felt as if something was there you know, um, like a, like some sort of, like a presence was there, but I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't, I, st I wouldn't see like a change in my life, you know, and that's probably what it is. Oh, I see. I'm not, I, don't I think mean, I feel to. like people can use God as like a metaphor to like boost themselves up in some way if they, they interpret it that way, you know? Like, they, they use God as a way to, like, try to get through this life, you know? And I feel like having hope is a good thing, you know? Having hope, but I'll say false hope isn't good either. But having hope for things can be good because if you hope for things can go well and you try to make the right decisions and stuff, like, it can go well, you know? Yep. Like, you just hope, like, kind of like how you see, like, a homeless guy on the street. You just hope, you can't really do much, but you just hope he can get out, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, like people say, oh, God can get him out of this, you know? Like, I view, I view it as a metaphor to my opinion. Yeah, but I also, like, lately I've, I've been um, watching um, Life is Overrated channel, and I've gotten more deep into, like, Satanism, because, like, well, I, didn't, I didn't know, any, like, before you say anything, it's not, like, worshiping the, the devil, like, how people think it is. Like, there's a big misconception. Yeah, yeah, I know. And, um, I've been getting, like, kind of deep into it because, like, I, I like the beliefs more of that than Christianity because the beliefs there, it's, it's, I can actually, like, read one of, the, like, the quotes that I saved on my phone. Like, the beliefs are not necessarily, like, self-absorbed, but they're saying you have no, like, they're saying, like, to put yourself first and praise yourself and, um, like, kind of, like, believe in yourself that way. That's the way I interpret it. But actually, these are one of the quotes I can find. Yeah, I agree, man. You should always put yourself first. Like, like for example, for myself at this job, like, I put myself first. I put my foot down. I'm not letting this guy gaslight him. I told him, I don't like, I don't like your attitude, you know? And then <laughs> I decided to leave because... I'm not letting that affect my mental health. I put myself first. Exactly. You know, I think that's a good way of looking at it. You know, and that's what's good about Satanism. Yeah. You know? Let me uh, read to you this, uh, this quote I, I found. I found it on the internet. Uh, so it goes, uh, it, it's like this. Uh, it goes, it says, Hail to thyself, for I am my own master. I am my own God. Which that part I find uh, a little weird, but it's okay. Um, I need no shepherd, for I am not a sheep. I am the defiler like Satan himself. Hail Satan. May he save me soon from the one who forced his life upon to me. Yeah, you're you're forced here and 
you're your own individual. You do what you want to do. And it, as long as I say cause pain and suffering to others, like you always put your yourself first over others, you know? Yep. I think that's a good thing. So, yeah, people have a misconception of what Satanism is. Satanism is kind of more of like atheism in some way. It's yeah. more towards that. Mm-hmm. People just think, oh, it's the devil with the red horns and all that crap. Mm-hmm. It, it really isn't. Yeah, but it, I, well, because it has the word Satan doesn't mean that's what it is. Yeah, I kind of I don't interpret it like you're praising Satan either. I interpret it like you're praising yourself. You know, when you say that, when you when you say uh, uh, hail Satan or, or whatnot, it's not like you're kind of saying hail thyself again, like twice. You know. You there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was trying to, like, what do you mean by that? Um, well, because, um, be, well, because, like, the word Satan means, um, it means, I have to look up what it means. I don't, I don't remember what it means. Uh, give me just a minute here. It's all good. I'm not, I'm not like, um, oh, I think it means adversity. Most, it, means, like, it means like, um, adversity or it means like a pose. That's what it says here. Yeah, uh, I guess it, it means that you're against certain things in this life that isn't beneficial for you. Yeah. I, I'm assuming. Yeah. Or like you're opposing that. Like the way I say, it, you're opposing um, these false like Christianity beliefs. The way that's the way I see it, to be honest. You know, I mean that's the way I see it because like if yeah right if like God didn't want us to eat the he had him need to eat the fruit of like knowledge. What did he want to eat the, the fruit of England in uh? Ignorance, he wanted to keep us ignorant, dude. And, you know, like... Satan was the one that, uh, I think, allowed that to happen. Or I'm not, yeah, not sure. Yeah, keep us ignorant and keep mm-hmm. this life keep going on and on and on. Right. Yeah, so they I also... Keep us, like, not questioning anything. Yeah. That's why I, like, I... To me, just, like, I said, I said, I said oppose, but I, when I meant oppose, I meant, like, oppose the truth. That's what Satanism kind of fully means to me. That's what I was trying to say earlier. You know? Oh, I see. Yeah, like... Yeah, it's like digging into the truth. Yeah, because, like... Like, most funny. There's, like... There's too many lies in Christianity, but, like... Satan is, like, freedom. You know? Right, yeah. It's, like, liberating. Yeah, exactly. That's in what ways. Have you like uh, gone to church or anything? Like, um, yeah, I'll do it one more time. I'll see what I'm thinking of. Or you can think of something too. Uh, oh no, no, no! I said, have you ever gone? Like, when was the last time you went to church? Oh, uh, was the last time I went to church? Um, I don't remember to be honest. Probably, probably was like Christmas time or something, and I was with family. I always hated church because you would go in there and like it just felt like a social gathering and all about status. That's all people go there for. They talk to each other and they talk about themselves all day. And like the pastor comes in with the basket and you put money in. It just seems like a like a money thing in there and just I always hated it and I went I went to Sunday school and I hated that too because I didn't like what I was like learning in there and I thought this stuff was nonsense dealing with kids that I didn't really care about talking to and all that it, it's ironic because I guess you can uh, be friends with people in there but at the same time it's it feels like 
you're forced to believe in something without your consent too because your parents oh yeah definitely take you there De- definitely yep like a social like societal thing yep I, I i've always felt like that too like you're forced to like you're like why do i have to believe in this like um yeah like why why can't like these parents like like be like giving their kids optional things to believe in you know you can believe in this you can believe in that you yeah know, they but, don't do that no they they always stick to one thing and they always want to force it down your throat you know yeah um you were asking you i mean you weren't asking uh you were saying about uh these uh church kids that you went to church school with like what what did you, what, what did you say again about them i don't i wasn't listening correct uh i just didn't i just felt like i was forced in there like hey you're going to school and i just didn't really want to interact with them because i was i didn't want to be there oh. i didn't want to listen to bible stories i didn't want to participate in reading the bible you know like it felt like a waste of time like then the next day you gotta go to school and you gotta deal with like similar stuff but longer you know oh yeah Definitely. so at least my, i'll say my parents aren't uh super strict with church which is all right but they tried to force it on me but they they just couldn't you know like i i kind of learned that it seemed like it was a social thing and trying to get connection status that's what that church stuff is about yeah. it ain't about like trying to like Better go there and see if the pastor can help you you know like it ain't about that at all i think i, I actually can kind of uh relate to what you're saying from what i've seen because i've seen like these like not just me but like my family members too like they're like these pastors and they'll like they'll bring people to the church i believe but like they don't do i don't think they would like bring them necessarily because of like god or whatnot they would do it because they want to like expose their church or compete with their churches to see who, who which is like the biggest i mean this probably doesn't make sense to you but um uh, like they'll have people from like different parts of the world come into like to their church and like uh just like visit their church and but like they won't have like people that are already like in the city that they are they are like poor or homeless or suffering come in you know and i mean those people can probably choose to come in but what i mean is like they're not going out of their way to look out for those people you know if and um i mean not me what's the word uh not that there's anything like wrong with like people wanting to like expose their church or grow their church or, or whatnot but just i wish that they would help people more as isn't that what like god would want you know yeah right like like, like, I guess some churches do charities and they, they do all these things, but at the end of the day, like, it's all about money. Yep. Like, these churches and... Or not money, it exposing, gives, It does like, give fame. people false hope, too, you know? Yep. Like, it just... You go there and you hope this world can get better, but no, they just say the same things to you. Like, be grateful and all this stuff. And... That's what this church stuff is about. Yeah. It's about money and, like, it's just, it's a waste of time. Yeah, actually, it's, uh, like, like maybe, like, I don't even remember, maybe five, eight years ago. What does this say? No, it can't be eight. Was it eight years ago? Oh, yeah. Seven years ago, maybe. I think maybe, like, five or six years ago, uh, like, uh maybe it was more than that i had like this pastor he uh he put his like whole wallet in like the money case i mean in the basket and then uh he would like i think some my my stepfather he said why did you do that and then i think he said oh because everything i have i owe to god and then what i always find and that's 
no, crazy. No, no, hold on. What I always find funny is like he says that, but it's not like it's gonna his wall is gonna disappear. It's gonna go to God. It's because it, he just when you know when the when they finish claiming the money, he he just picks up a wallet and puts it back in his pocket. And I'm like, well, <laughs> it's so goofy. Just to think about. It's important a God that is sadistic and doesn't care about you at all. Like, if this thing is real. And the thing is, like, there's someone on my Discord that uh, they would go to church and he would see his dad put, like, $60 into the bowl. And he wouldn't even help out, like, his kid. Say, so say, say again? why are you putting all this money into God and not pouring your kids? Like, like, what's worshiping God, like, like gonna help you for? You, you should. You created a kid. You should help them. Yeah, I feel like that. Uh, not like, not like that. I mean, my bad. Uh, let me think about what I'm gonna say. No, uh, just not not like that. I think I like fuck fuck. fuck. <clears throat> oh, I see people that um are Christians and they have children and they treat their kids so badly or or, or they mistreat them or n aren't exactly like the best parents and they're Christians, man. And I'm like, dude, like, I uh, they call themselves good Christians, but yeah. like behind the scenes, they fucking abuse them neglect them whatever it is like just yeah. just shows that like these people aren't genuine it just shows you that christianity like isn't a good thing either you know in most yeah. ways no i also like i always had this belief when i was younger but as i got older i, st I stopped believing in it because um but I've, I've had this belief like about christianity for like a while or like just church in general, but I always had like this belief that like when people go to church, they they change, right? But here's the thing, um, there's like been people like I went to church with like maybe four or five years ago. I can't give you an exact estimate, but I and I see them now, and like they're on like drugs, they're on like all these different type of things, and I'm like, dude, I thought you guys, you guys, you know, I saw you guys like in church years ago, and this is where you're at now in life. And you, you... A lot of times they were they rebel against their parents, and well, that's that's kind of most of the cause of it too. They get into like drugs, they have sex all the time, and it can be risky. No, you know? no, no. But what I'm what I'm what like, I'm trying what I'm trying to get at is like if God like if they went to, they went to church all these years, and if God was really with them, why didn't He prevent that? Why why aren't they yeah, like better? Exactly right. Why didn't God prevent, like, these... Things from happening. Like, atrocities from happening, right? Like, doesn't make sense. Like, if God knew that this person is going to be into drugs and, like, get themselves into trouble, why didn't God stop that? Yeah, it, but people say, people say, oh, it's to test you. Or to test you for what? Yeah. It's ridiculous, and that's why, like, uh, it's all about, like, a different topic. Like, that's why I think, like, the free will isn't real, because, like, you don't choose anything, really. You don't, yep. you don't really choose up in this life. Like, it's it's all determined. Like, for you, but determinism isn't always right, either, because it's like a, you're rolling dice, but the probability of something going wrong for you when you have, say, this disability, it's gonna most likely gonna happen to you. You know, you're gonna struggle with these things. You know, that's kind of like with my bipolar and my mild autism. Like, oh, you have mild autism? Like, I'm gonna have a hard time. Yeah, yeah, I do. I have a mine's very mild. Yeah, I think so. I, I think I have a uh, mild too. I mean, I, I I know I do, but I'm not sure. Like, if mine's mild, I think mine's uh, mild as well. Uh. Yeah, I, I had it when I was younger, and I always kind of, I always hit it because I always had people, like, 
make fun of me all the time and all that stuff. And I would always deny my diagnosis constantly, you know. And then I had to come to accept it at some point. And yeah, like, it's crazy how I'm born in this world and I get these problems handed to me and you can't even change them, you know? Yeah, but um, the, didn't when you were in school, they didn't put you in like autism support because like I know like maybe it depends like which state you're in, but I know they put you in like if you have autism, like autism support, and like it's basically uh, it's just a class for like other autistic people, nothing special, and that's about it. Yeah, I was I was in um special ed. Oh, I was in special ed like eighth grade, and then like. Eighth grade was when I started getting to like mainstream classes and stuff. Oh, so I really do think I should have never been in there. But what's, what's mainstream regular? It, it was it was a horrible experience. What's what's mainstream regular classes? Yeah, they're like regular classes. Yeah. Oh. No, I'm not gonna lie. I think, like me personally, I I already graduated, but like I I miss the idea of school but i don't like miss the the actual truth because like they were you know like i you you fucking come in dude and every every, after every like class period there's just like this big ass like these big lines of like kids and it's so fucking loud and and that's why i'm also kind of like even though i i i got my last years of school taken away from me because uh um, I was homeschooled, like, my last two to three years of school, of, I mean, of uh, high school, so I got my school years taken away from me, but I'm also, like, glad, because I avoid all that, like, extra, like, drama and bullshit and toxicity, you know, even though it, it, it was, it's lonely. That's good, whatnot, man. I, I, at least I didn't have to go through that, you know? Yeah, like... It's it's crazy how people say school's a safe place and it really isn't. Like there's just so much bullying in there. There's there's teachers that can molest you. There's teachers that won't be on your side when you tell them that you've been bullied or teased. You know, and there's favoritism and uh, school shootings. Oh, like, spe- that's spe- severe. speaking of that, I, what's like, actually what's actually funny is uh, there was a school shooting like, the, in the school that I, I used to go to, and I said, "Wow, good thing I wasn't there." <laughs> oh, that's wild, man. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's that's good. You weren't in there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it wouldn't be a good thing. I can definitely give you PTSD. You know. Yeah. Uh, what were you saying? I'm sorry, I interrupted you. My bad. Nah, I, th- I think I was done, to be honest. Oh, okay. Uh, well, the... But, uh, school, like, uh, is, like, I, like what you were saying, like, with school, like, I, I do agree with that. It could be a good idea. Like, you teach the kids to function in the real world so they can survive and not struggle, you know, but school doesn't even teach you any of that. School just teaches you a bunch of BS all the time, and like you come out of school and you didn't, you don't really learn anything because you don't have a good role model from your parents or whoever it is or school teachers. You just come out lost and you just don't know what to do. You make the wrong decisions because the guidance counselor will tell you, "Oh, go to college or something." When you didn't really, you don't really need college and you're not for it. And I just fall for that trap. And there's just so many people lost in this world because of school. It's insane. Yeah, actually, now that you're saying that, I, I've actually was all like, so, uh, <clears throat> uh, I, I've also like been disappointed at like, cause there's actually like actual, there's like classes that teach you like certain life skills, like cooking but you have to, uh, I think you have to have, like, a, cert- a set amount, what's the word, uh, I don't remember, I think credits, or, you have to have, like, you have to give up, like, one of your, because that's, like, what's the word, um, 
I don't remember what it's called. It's 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 like a gym class where it's like an extra class that you get for like points. So it's like like uh, gen ed or something or elective. Yeah, yeah, elective, elective. Yeah, so because that's an elective, so you would have to give up. I think gym class, or I'm not completely sure because I think you would also need like you would have to have, like one uh fitness class fitness class too. I'm not completely sure, but yeah, like I think you could only have like one elective. But so if you wanted to like learn something else, you could only learn like one thing like throughout like the uh, school year, which is kind of crap. That like, that that was actually like useful. Yeah, like they should have like required classes that are going to prepare you for the world, like finances or how to buy a house or rent a house or how to find the right job for you or jobs that uh, um, suit you more or like learning how to manage your money like budget or uh, like stuff like that like stuff, anything that has to translate in the real world basically they should teach you not stuff that doesn't translate like algebra like not everyone's gonna be an engineer there's very few people that use algebra you know yeah or like Shakespeare, like with English, you only need English for so long. You don't need it for so many years. It's ridiculous, and it's it's pathetic, you know. Yeah, I also uh, what was it? Yeah, I'm kind of, I kind of froze up. Uh, I'm not sure what's going. No, you're good, man. I, I get, I get like that too. I'm, I like <laughs> lose my train of thought and stuff. Uh, uh, well, the video's been going for like an hour, so I'm not sure if, uh, cause I'm not sure, uh, how it's gonna. I, I, you can uh go on for five minutes. That's cool. Yeah, because I think if it's, if I say any longer, it's going to take a long time to, like, upload it. Yeah, true. Yeah, we'll, we'll do a five more minutes, and then we can wrap it up if you want. Yeah. Sometimes I get tired of talking, too, you know? Just yeah. get draining. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I, um, I enjoy the podcast, man. Yeah, like, me too. I, I like the, the conversations we're having. Cool. Yeah, like, that's I like why them too. It's hard to have these type of conversations in real life because you can't find people no that can't. will listen to you and open up. You know, like mm-hmm. that's why I created the Discord and I created YouTube so I can find people I can talk to about like this world and and all that stuff. Yeah, me too. Cause uh, there's there's just so much st- this. There's just so much stuff focused on like materialism and, uh, uh, consumerism and whatnot that people just forget, not forget. They have all these distractions and they fuck and I don't think they forget about the truth. They temporarily forget about the truth with these distractions, you know, but they they deny it. Yeah, they they say all these distractions are like the best thing in life, but uh, they. They they don't just deny the truth. Like looking around how fucked up the world is. Mm. It's messed up. Like how can you deny like people murdering each other or like committing rape or people struggling with their genetics or people struggling in poverty? Like it's on and on and on. Yeah. I also like find it uh you you're not by any chance a gamer, imagine that, right? Wait, who? You're not by any chance a gamer, right? I imagine not. Or once were. Oh uh, no. Oh, uh, well, I was gonna say like I always find it like funny, uh, that people like get all excited over like these video games and uh, um, I I don't really get excited over them, but I'll still play them because. As life overrated likes to say, we're slaves to being entertained. Anyway, anyway, 
And I always find it, like, funny, like, how they get excited over these games. And, uh, like, I always forget that these games, like, they buy them and it distracts them for, like, a, maybe a couple hours, but not for long. Or they get they get to the point of the game where they have everything and what, you know, now what are you going to do, you know? You got to go back to your, li- your life or... Yeah, it's like a cope. It, it feels good playing the game, like on the PlayStation, for example, and then mm-hmm. you like beat the campaign and you're just back to this reality. You got to go to work tomorrow. It, it really sucks, man. Terrible. Yeah. Like, I, I would be excited over video games, too, back in the day. It would feel really good. And then and it, it would suck because the next day I would have to go to work and <laughs> that enjoyment just felt like a waste because it didn't last that long. Yeah. I also think like the games that come out now, like they're not, they're not even good, man. They're not, I, I I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, yeah, I agree. That's why I stopped playing because I can't find a good game out there. Yeah. I'm about, I'm about to quit. Like I, I keep saying it to myself, but I, I'm not like sure. I know this sounds like like so ignorant to say, but I'm not sure like what else I would do, like besides working out. If it's not like playing video games or or listening to music or going on a run, like, cause I don't really have fr- like a lot of friends. So I and I don't really like going out a lot. So that's why I I I you know I play video games, but I think at some point I'm gonna. Yeah, there's no, nothing wrong with that, man. Yeah. At some point, I'm going to, you know, probably quit them because, like, they just, you know, like, they just, maybe not quit them, but, like, not play them, like, at, at, at all, like, as much, you know? Maybe, like, yeah, a couple minutes. Yeah, not play them as often. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of the same way. Like, I, I don't really play that much at all anymore. Like, I'll play here and there. There, there's just no good games out, and yeah. like it's not really a good cope for me anymore. <laughs> so, yeah. like that's why it's good to discover new copes if you can, or have a variety. You know? Yeah, but I don't, I don't really yeah, like, have another one, another backup. I don't really like know any of the good copes because like, and any other copes like they're they're negative, not ne- negative, but like they're not like beneficial towards your life. I mean, I I, I but I was gonna. Next month, I was planning to do, like, martial arts. See how that goes. Try that out, or... I'm not sure, to be honest. You yeah, that'll be good, man. That'll definitely be good to release the figure and learn... You can learn how to fight, too. Yeah, um... Hopefully, that's a good thing to do. You, uh... You're, like, professional runner, right? I wish I was professional. But... No, not professional, but I see... Uh... The, you, you you run on races, don't you? I, I saw a video that you posted, or a short. Yeah, I uh, I ran... I ran a 10-miler twice. I did... Good job, dude. A half marathon. Good job. And I'm doing a full... Doing, I'm training for a full marathon now. I don't know how I'm doing it with these fucking things, but... Yeah. I'm gonna try to quit, but it's fucking hard. They have uh, nicotine-like patches and... Like products, you I know you could use to like it, like it. People, I think people use it to qu- not necessarily like quit smoking, but like as an alternative. I'm not 100 percent like certain. Yeah, I don't, I don't like. I did them before. They don't work for me. Oh, uh, I know people that been smoking since they were like eight, and they they're never gonna quit. I'm like, but they're still like alive surprisingly. Yeah, it's like my grandpa. He like smoked at that age, and he's 95 years old. Something I don't, I don't get. It. Uh, well, do you want to stop the, like, podcast now? Or is that fun? Or not? Yeah, that'd be cool. Alright, uh... Yeah, um... I appreciate talking to you. That was, was really cool what we discussed, you know? Yeah, uh... I might edit it to, like... But I'm not sure, because I, I wanted to... Let me edit it, actually, yeah.